This is a demonstration of the use of the glass gal coma scale. Okay, so the easiest and simplest way to remember the glass gal coma scale is a little mnemonic, E, V, M, eyes, E, V, verbal, and then M for motor, okay? E, V, M, so for eyes, the max number is four. So what do you call a kid uh, in grammar school who wears glasses? Four eyes. So eyes, four eyes, four is the max number. Next one is verbal. Um, what's verbal? Verbal is a V, so think of the Roman numeral, five. The max number is five. Then motor is next. Motor V6, Roman numerals again. V6 is a type of motor. So that's the max number that you can get for the motor. So EVM, four, five, and six. There is no such thing as zero. The max, I mean the minimum you can get is a three because for each component there's still no response is still given a one. So for eyes, if there's no response, it's a one. For verbal, no response, it's a one. For motor, no response, it's still a one, which equals three. So you can have a minimum of three score and you can have a maximum of 15. So for eyes, a four would be you just walk into the room and they open their eyes upon you entering the room. You don't say anything, they just know that you just walked in and they open their eyes, that's a four. Um, that's the highest score you can get for the eyes. If they come into the room and they're not responding yet, their eyes haven't opened yet, but you say, oh, Miss Smith, so I'm not, I haven't touched her yet, Miss Smith, and then she opens her eyes spontaneously, that's a three. Now, if I come into the room and I say, Miss Smith, Miss Smith, she's still not responding, you take the end of your pen and apply pressure to the lateral side of the fingers, the first, I mean, the second or third, and if she opens her eyes to the painful stimuli, then that would be a two. If there's still no response, that's a one. For verbal, remember the max number for verbal is five. So if she's oriented to person, time, or place, if she knows who she is, where she is, and all that, then she's a max number of five. If she's disoriented to any of those, um, or all of them, then it's a four. If she's conversing only in words that don't make sense, like if you ask who she is or where she is and she says rabbit or starts talking to somebody else that's not even here, then that would be a three. Now, if she's just responding verbally um, by moaning or incomprehensible sounds, that's a two. And of course, if there's no response at all, that's a one. For motor response, um, she can, respond appropriately to simple commands such as like lift your hand off the bed or lift your foot or turn your head from side to side. Um, if she is only localizing to painful stimuli, if we're applying pressure here and she moves her hand away from it in either direction just to get away from the painful stimuli, that would be a five. Um, if she does um, a, re a purposeless which, um, flexion, if I just do a painful stimuli here and she just flexes purposelessly with no purpose at all behind it, it's just a reaction, then that would be considered a four. Now, if she flexes her elbows and wrists inward while extending her limbs, in a decorticate position, that is a three. If she extends her arms out like this, that's a decerebate positioning, posturing, that's a two. And then if she has no motor response on any limb at all, then that's a one. Um, so now we're just gonna give you a little example of a scenario um, of what um, utilizing this um, Glasgow Coma Scale is like. So. Miss Smith, Miss Smith, Miss Smith. Okay, she's not responding. She didn't respond to me entering the room. She didn't respond to my verbal attempts. So now I'm gonna apply verbal, I mean painful stimuli. Miss Smith, can you feel that? 
Okay, she's opened her eyes. So she did respond to verbal, I mean, she did respond to painful stimuli. So that means she'd opened her eyes, which means she gets a two. Okay, so the next one is um, verbal. So, Miss Smith, do you know where you are? Do you know what's going on? Do you know your name or what year it is? Purple. Okay, so she's responding verbally, but not appropriately. Um, so she would get a three. She's, um, so next we're gonna test her motor reflex. Um, we're gonna apply painful stimuli here. And what she's gonna do is she's going to turn her wrist and arms inward, both arms, even though you can't see them. And that's gonna be a decorticate positioning, which also gets a score of three. So if you have two for the eyes, three for verbal and three for motor, that's a score of eight.